Basically for every girl I've ever dated. Okay. Um, because, oh, I know. <laughs> My mama would be proud. Um, no, it's it's basically, you know, I, I took a lot of influence from every every single relationship I've been in. So. The bus is strictly off limits, I'm sorry. My tour manager is roaming around here somewhere telling me, nope. No girls allowed. But thank you for asking and being polite about it. You know, for me, it's, um, I, I co-write a lot. Brothers is the only song on the record I wrote by myself, and um, I, I co-write with a lot of friends of mine, and I can say that they're friends, because we've kind of gotten to know each other through the years by writing together. And uh, the, some of them are hit songwriters that have written songs that you would know immediately. And, well, okay, well, um, okay. Most of the record I wrote with two guys, uh, Shane McAnally and Josh Osborne. And Shane and Josh just had number one with Come Over for Kenny Chesney. Shane wrote um, Anywhere With You, or Somewhere With You for Kenny Chesney, Alone With You for Jake Owen. You know, they, there's guys on the record that I should have never gotten a chance to be in a room with. And... It's a uh, it's a lot of fun to go and write and hang out with your buddies all day. So what you're telling me is that Shane's really good at the booty call songs. <laughs> Shane's very good, and it's funny you say that. We it's we've started like a like a new club where every time I go in, I'm like, man, I got this really cool booty call idea for Shane today. I you know I started playing guitar when I was ten. I was singing before that, doing choir and stuff like that, but not very well. So, um, <laughs> I, I, when I started playing guitar and then I started writing songs when I was 15, and it, it, about that time, that's when I really started getting into it pretty hardcore. So, I got the bug at that point. That's a great question. Um, and my mom asked me that same question too, because she's like, what's your plan B when this doesn't work out? Um, no, it's funny because this was a hobby for me. And, you know, when I was in school and doing that, this was a hobby, and now I get, my hobby is my job, and it, there's nothing better than that. So I really, I really don't have any idea what I would be doing. I, you know, selling shoes, maybe. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, you know, I grew up on 90s country, so I grew up, you know, with kind of the class of 89, with George Strait, Alan Jackson, Randy Travis, Clint Black, Mark Chestnut, all those guys. So I, I and it's, you know, I, I'm a big Dwight Yoakam fan. I'm a big Mavericks fan. So I, I grew up on a lot of that stuff. And, you know, and as far as the new guys, you know, I listened to to Paisley and, and you know, and uh, Dirks and guys like that that are kind of doing that contemporary but traditional thing. I'd love to do a song with George Strait. So if there's anybody in the house that can hook that up for me, I'd love to do it. Uh, that, was, uh, that was not my girlfriend. Um, my grandmother called me after she saw the video for the first time and she said, she said, Greg, I need to meet your girlfriend. And I said, Granny, that wasn't my girlfriend. I said, we hired, we hired that one. So that was, you know, and she was like, she didn't quite understand it, but it's fine. Um, but that is not my girlfriend. That like? I was in Tampa, Florida, and I was with my producer and one of the guys from my label. And we, we were driving down the road, we were coming back from the airport going to a show, and we had the radio just kind of, you know, just high enough that you could hear it, but you couldn't really hear what was going on. And the song came on, and it, about halfway through the verse, we were all kind of looking at each other, and I looked at my producer, and I think I even might have said out loud, hey, we should write something like this. This would be really cool to do, something like this. And then it all hit us, like, at one time that it was my song, and, and then I'm trying to get a hold of my mom so she can get online and listen to the radio station. And it, it was a really, it was a cool moment. Do it as much as you can. It's you know, if, if you're writing songs, you gotta write, you gotta write a hundred before you really know what you're doing. And uh, you know, it's that that's the main thing is you, you gotta do a bunch of shows, you gotta write songs, whatever you're wanting to do. 
you, you really gotta just do it as much as you possibly can and you'll only get better from there.